first, let's go into Book Creator for Chrome. You can just Google it or go to app.bookcreator.com. As a teacher, you will need to sign in as a teacher. Your students will sign in after you create your account and you'll be able to give them a code. I signed in with my Google account. It just makes things easier. And I have my students do that too. Now when you launch Book Creator, you will see a tutorial book. It will take you to the first book in your library. And it will show you how to get started with Book Creator. You'll get a simple tutorial on how to get started. Just click the book and flip through the pages. That is really easy. Now you'll notice as you go through the book, try the tips it gives you. You can add things in the tutorial book. Just think of it as your sandbox and play with it as you go. So first I'm adding some text. Now notice you can move things around with the handlebars. This is where it's helpful to notice what your arrow looks like. Remember that when you have a four-sided arrow, I call it the snowflake remove arrow, that you can move something. If you have a two-sided arrow and point it at the blue dots, that is called the sizing arrow and you're changing the size. Also notice the blue box shows what is highlighted or selected. And you can see I'm using the pen now to write on the page. Just click done and it shows up on the page. Now let's flip through the book some more and it talks about moving, resizing, rotating. You'll want to go through this with your students or they can just play with it themselves when they log in. Now you can change the colors or page on a specific item just using the I button. Remember that if you haven't selected anything, it will change the color of the page. Also remember that you can click the plus and add new colors. So as you're reading your book, all you have to do is just flip through with the arrows. It's that simple. Now you'll notice on this page, it shows you how you can get a code for your students. So when you get ready and you create a book, you can just simply click share and it will let you get a code for that. Um, which is awesome and very simple. And I just write it up on the wall. You do get 40 free books and you can combine them all together. And I just flipped through the little book in Book Creator for Chrome. Now, there is a handy tutorial on how to insert a something that looks like a video. So you basically insert a picture and then you link to the video and it will launch a video straight from your book too. Now I'm creating a new library for my class. So I've just clicked Create New Library and click Invite People to the Library. Now this is when I get a code. Now don't think you can use this code because I've already regenerated a new one, but anybody who has this code can um, enter that particular library. And again, this code will not work anymore just because I didn't want everybody in the whole world joining my library. Simply click create new book and you'll have many choices of sizes. I have my students creating a portrait two by three book, but you can create comic books and more. Now just click the one you want to select it. When you get in there, click plus to add text and add it to the page. And you can just click to edit things. You can also click plus and add shapes. Now, if you want to change something, notice that anytime you want to, you can click the I in the top right hand side. So I can click on text and change it. I can click plus and I can add more things or I can click on the inspector and I can change the page color. Or if I'm clicking on my title or some other object, I can change the color with that. Notice that there is a sizing arrow and you're changing the size and also notice that you can click on the green dot and rotate things. Um, you can click on pages and take a look at all the pages that you have to see a big picture of how you've laid things out. And sometimes I'll even get out pieces of paper and fold it up into a book to kind of help kids lay out the pages and figure out what they want to put in the content, especially if they are collaborating. Now, if you click at the bottom, you can see there's all kinds of features. We can import books, copy books, combine books, and even delete books if we have to. We can hit the play button and view our book. At the top, we can click the blue area and go to different libraries. So if we have different classes, we can swap between different libraries. Remember, they can see and read other students in their library. 
story um, in their same class. So just decide who you want to put together. 